Hi, I'm Kim Ho. In this series, we'll be talking to people who have interesting, inspiring, and intriguing stories to tell. This week, we meet Adrian Pang, one of Singapore's best-known actors who also founded Pangdemonium, a theatre company with his wife, Tracy. Talented and versatile, he comes across as a man very comfortable in his skin. However, he recently opened up about his battle with depression, which debilitated him to such an extent he almost could not function. Thanks to professional help and medication, he's managed to put a lid on his mental health issues, but he says his battle is not over. He would like all people battling depression to know that they're not alone and that it is not shameful to seek professional help. This is his story. I was okay for the first few weeks of lockdown and then I started to feel my soul slowly leave me, you know, day by day to the point where I very soon found myself um, in this very strange dark place. Luckily, my family rallied around me. They, they were the ones who encouraged me to seek professional help and not a moment too soon as well because, you know, it was, a, it was just a daily battle to, to get through the day, to even get out of bed. Um, and I was, you know, just feeling a, a just a desperate sense of despair and 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 hopelessness. I'm mean, having been an actor for thirty years now. I had fallen into the trap of almost defining myself by the fact that I am an actor. That's who I am, and I'm lucky to be able to do that. But when the pandemic hit, it just completely skewed my perspective to the point where all I could see was what was taken away from me. It literally was like, oh my God, if I'm not an actor, then what the hell, what the hell am I? I started seeing a therapist. I, I started on a gentle um, regime of medication, which I'm still on. Gradually, I started to feel the darkness slowly lift and it's still it's still a, a, a daily struggle. I'm in a much better place than I than, than I was in you know March, April, May, June of um, um, 2000. What year is it? <laughs> I decided to try to make good, do right by my parents by doing a law degree. I got my law degree miraculously, uh, but in my final year, I realized that the law profession certainly didn't need me to join it. <laughs> so, so I had to ask myself, what, what, what do I want to do? You know, the honest answer was, as I said, prancing around on stage for public critique. Um, so I just just plunged into that, and then by the good graces of the fates. Um, I've been able to make a living out of it for, for the last 30 years. The pandemic gripped me with not just depression, but all of a sudden I had this kind of almost PTSD flashback to early days as, as an actor where I was out of work. That kind of insecurity and panic, I guess that's never left me. Which is ironic because as Pangdemonium, you know, my, our theatre company has produced several plays and musicals dealing with mental health issues and each one with a message to say that it's a real thing, don't be afraid of it, please seek help. And, and here I was, you know, for the longest time not practicing what I was preaching. And it just really took an extreme circumstance for me to then have no choice but to stare it in the face and recognize it and go, yes. It's you, it's you again. I've known you, I've had you in my life for a long, long time and you're here to, to stay with me now for I don't know how long. So I'm gonna have to find a way to exorcise you in some way, or find a way to coexist. Strange, I literally just, just today I saw some, a, a Facebook post uh, from a friend of mine um, whom I've known since secondary school who, um, posted about how he you know, has gone through a difficult period himself and felt like killing himself and like, what? You just, wow, you just never know. You never know what somebody else is going through, you know? Um, 
And, and another friend of mine, whom I only just just gotten gotten to know um, last year as well. Um, again, again, I didn't know how bad it was for him until he posted something on Facebook uh, about two weeks ago, also talking about wanting to kill himself and um, and through the work that we've done, you know, we've had parents writing into us and saying, um, you know, I brought my daughter, and this is is what. This is exactly what she goes through, what you've shown on stage. This boy, that's the story of my, my, my daughter. And, you know, as a parent, you just go, oh, my God. You just how, how, do you, how do you protect your kids? You know, how do you, um, how do you, you can't protect your kids from everything, you know. The play that we did, um, this poster out there called The Son, uh, I, play, I played the father of a teenage boy <clears throat> going through depression and um, there's a line in the play, sometimes love is not enough. And I, I, I couldn't really understand what well, is beautiful, is a beautiful poetic kind of line. But when we did the play, and it just kind of rang true to me because, you know, as much as the father couldn't understand but wanted the best for the son and was just trying to get the son out of his depression, all, the, all that love will not cure your, someone of that, you know, it's a, it's a sickness. You need to seek proper help for it. You know, love is not gonna cure it. But um, we need love.